Hi, I'm Kirsten Salmonson, a PhD candidate at Trent University and a 2019 Fellow of the Wildlife Conservation Society of Canada, funded through the W. Garfield Weston Foundation. My thesis research examines conservation genomics of boreal caribou and is being conducted in affiliation with the Ontario Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry and Environment and Climate Change Canada. Caribou are an iconic Canadian species. They hold cultural significance for Indigenous people, but are also symbolic to all Canadians, as they even appear on our 25 cent coin. There's an amazing diversity of subspecies and ecotypes of caribou across Canada, which has resulted in the classification of 12 management units or designatable units by COSEWIC, which is the Committee on the Status of Endangered Wildlife in Canada. Despite this amazing diversity, all caribou ecotypes in Canada are currently at risk of extinction. My research focuses on boreal caribou, which have a massive range across Canada, spanning all the way from southern Labrador to the eastern Yukon. However, boreal caribou have lost approximately half of their historic range over the past 150 years and are currently designated as threatened. Some populations, like those in the southern discontinuous range of Ontario, have become isolated due to this range retraction, which further increases their risk of extinction. However, there is some uncertainty in the current classification of caribou ecotypes, which presents challenges for management. For instance, the designation of boreal caribou as a unique management unit is based on morphology, behavior, and distribution, and has not been validated with genomic data. We are using whole genome sequences that have been collected from caribou herds throughout Canada. By examining the whole genome, we can see the entire evolutionary history of an individual, essentially allowing us to trace back through their ancestry. One thing that's cool about this research is it's collected non-invasively. We take advantage of the naturally freezing temperatures of the Canadian winter and collect tissue samples from caribou carcasses that are found at roadkill or wolf kill sites. We also collect fecal pellets in the winter when they're frozen and we can extract DNA from those as well. Our early results indicate that the current management units of boreal and eastern migratory caribou may need to be refined. We also found that boreal caribou from the southern discontinuous range in Ontario appear to be genetically distinct but are also highly inbred. Further research is required to determine how inbreeding is affecting this population, which I'll be investigating in the future, as well as looking at ways to potentially reduce inbreeding without losing any important biodiversity. This research would not be possible without support from several sources. Thank you to the W. Garfield Weston Foundation Fellowship Program through the Wildlife Conservation Society Canada for their support of this research. Funding through the Fellowship Foundation allowed us to add an additional three genomes to the study, increasing our sample size to 15 full coverage genomes. The additional samples added represent a huge part of the boreal range that had not been previously included and allowed us to genomically compare boreal caribou across Canada for the first time. I'd also like to thank all of my other collaborators and mentors who helped make this research possible.